Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. I am as ever Mr. Carl Wilkinson with E and uh, aka Squeezilla I guess. Uh, and today we are continuing our campaign bringing back the Spanish Armada. We've got some American ships coming to our ports. Hello. We've got a big fleet incoming. Five bat... Oh that's a big assault group. Okay, what have we got in the Mediterranean? Okay, I think we're going to have to move our fleet to try and get something that can fight this group. Okay, this is going to be interesting. We've got this group coming in at the moment. They've left a lot of their ports exposed, so... Okay. Let's move up to New York with this group. Start putting some pressure on. We'll still have this group protecting. Um, the Cortez will get moving out as well. Okay. This will be interesting to see how this goes. Okay, the Red Cross urges the United States and our nation to accept exchange of prisoners. Uh, we'll agree to that. Must prepare for the worst case. Okay. Of course, it would be Illinois with the San Francisco and the Vigilant. Okay. This will be an interesting battle because we have sunk one of their battleships already. To the west of us. Oh, that's... Our torpedo's gone. Alright, retreat. Bollocks. Yeah, San Francisco's down to 12 knots now, so she's not going to catch that battleship. So, yep, that's frustrating. End the battle there. Frustrates me how the enemy runs so much in still. Like, that battleship should have come in for a bit of a fight at least. Still taking down some of their their um, transport, so, so that's good. Okay. Looks like the Illinois might have to head home, though. That's something. We'll move this task force out. You never know, we might get some luck. If 
Portland's got two light cruisers in it. All right, let's move these up to Washington. Okay. Yeah, over capacity for our ship building, so. That's all right. All right, let's see what this brings. Okay, this is a big meeting. So, the Helena, Los Angeles class, Los Angeles class, Los Angeles class, torpedo boats. We've got two armoured cruisers, two light cruisers. And two torpedo boats. All right. see what we can do. The, it's two of our, our gunboats, so they should be pretty effective against torpedo boats, I'm hoping. Alright, here we go. Torpedo boats. Let's get flanking. Oh, beautiful. Detonation. Ammo debt on their armored cruiser. I don't want to show too much broadside early on. Angle a little bit, please, boys. And this battle line needs to start turning quick. We're about to get into torpedo range. Torpedo boats come in, please. That's one torpedo boat down. It's one light cruiser down. Torpedo boats, get out of the firing range, please. Light cruisers, keep on chugging along, please. Okay. There's the Helena. Torpedo boats, start turning, please. You're going to go for the Helena. Cruisers, turn in this way a little bit, please. Juan de Corre, looking good. I want you focusing on the Olympia, please. Start turning in. Watch out for torpedoes, please. Ah, oh, 
how did you hit that? So Tiago really need to get some good hits here. Start turning it, please. Good, that was a dud. The Olympia's going down. Torpedo boats start coming in. Good, good. Torpedo hit on there. Torpedo hit on the Helena. She'll be going down shortly. And that is job done, ladies and gentlemen. Good work. Good work indeed. That is a big loss to the American fleet once more. Okay. Okay, this is the big one. The entire American Navy versus our European fleet. If we can take down some of those battleships, that will be great. But we have got to be careful. Um, we know we can take down the Riley and the Los Angeles pretty well. And the torpedo boat shouldn't be an issue. So... Let us do a quirk safety save. Let's get this battle underway. So, in theory, the Americans should be really low on fuel. Plus, you know, I, I thought they were making it so these task force couldn't be this large in this update, but oh well. Celebi. Okay, so south of us, light cruisers. I want you to turn that way, please. Okay, let's see what we can do. Weather is pretty bad. Okay. Enemies getting close. Torpedo boats. I actually want you heading away, please. Tighten up your formation. Don't worry about avoiding. Oh crap. We found the enemy. But he weren't where we were expecting. This is going to be messy. This is going to be painful. Our torpedo boat's going to get slaughtered here. And our heavy cruisers are not going to do too well, I imagine. 
because they are going to get absolutely hammered by torpedoes. And collisions, this is not good at all. Oh Jesus, this is a mess. Uh, light cruisers come this way please. Detach you please. Oh, Christ almighty, this is a mess. Purification, I need you heading towards these battleships please. You need to get in there. Soon, light cruiser, gal, you need to get towards these battleships and try and get torpedoes off, please. You just need to get the hell out of dodge. Same with you. Please move. That's ridiculous. I'm not happy with this. still turn this around I guess but we are going to lose two uh, we're going to lose a heavy cruiser that's for sure smoke up uh, Farate is basically dead please get some good torpedo hits on these bloody battleships why are you turning I like cruiser squadron is doomed. This is a slaughter. Yeah, we managed to take down the Washington, I guess. That's something. Please, torpedo that Nevada. Are you a torpedo cruiser? No, you're just a stand. At least, don't be a dud. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's a dud. Why are you ramming it? Do not ram a battleship, you dumbass. you. That's the only way I'm going to get you working, isn't it? Bloody moron. Please launch some torpedoes. Purification, I need you back. Good. Nevada is sinking. That's something. Bravate is sinking, unfortunately. What torpedo tubes have you got? Possibly your rear tube maybe, is that loaded? Hopefully, I don't know. Dud, of course. Purification, you need to start heading in. Ambrosio, you just keep heading out. We 
gonna lose the San Juan. Actually, Ambrosia, you just come back, start heading back. You've got a chance of doing some more damage. Smoke, please. Okay, you're going to get torpedoed, aren't you? Go for that North Dakota if you can, please. Good job. Truxton is going down. Good job, Castile. Which torpedo tube is loaded? Is that one? Let me start heading that direction, please. North Dakota is looking like it's about to go down. That would be grand. Yes, good job. This has been messy as hell, but. We are doing okay-ish somehow. Arcano, just retreat, please. You're done. Go for Santa Fe, please. Try and get a torpedo off on this bloody battleship if you can. You're doing great, Castilia. Sam Juan, if you can launch a torpedo, do so at this battleship. You might yet survive this. Oh, the Alcino's gone down, unfortunately. Good job on the Louisiana. San Ambrosia, she's going down, I think. Purification. Let's just start getting out of dodge. Good. Another one of their battleships down. I think that might have been their last battleship as well. Both of you just retreat if you can. If we can get you guys out alive, that will be something. The, uh... Jaws of defeat into the uh, jaws of somewhat a victory. I think that was uh, that was messy. That was not a victory, victory for sure. Quite uh, is going down. Let's see if you can sink Santa Fe. Still got their heavy cruisers coming in. We can't deal with those. 
Castellio. Get the hell out of there, please. much we can do here unfortunately just got to end this as soon as possible good job Castilia you uh you did great pretty equal damage I think done just a little bit more but we have sunk more of their ships so hopefully that will do something for us one old man I was still fighting on putting up a great fight this is kind of all we could hope for I guess the uh taking on the American fleet like that because we really were outgunned and out, out um, well they had the the weight on us I do not know how the Sarno man I was doing so well she's holding on for dear life But it's only a matter of time before this ship goes down. And that does it. End battle please. Yep. We are escaping. Five battleships down. All of our heavy cruisers alive. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six light cruisers. And then pretty much all of their torpedo boats. So that was a costly victory. 21 ships sunk, 9 of ours sunk. Um, we lost an entire light cruiser squadron. Uh, we almost lost all of our armoured cruisers. We lost 3 torpedo boats. But... The... San Juan El Mano has become a new legend in the Armada's history. She is definitely a new legend. Um, so... Light cruisers, Castilla, Castilla, did an amazing job. All of our ships did amazing work, but those two especially did fantastic jobs. Um, almost eleven thousand damage dealt by the, the oh, sorry, twenty-one thousand dealt by the Castilla, the Elcano as well. Reese, we forget her work. These will all be new names of our classes of ships because they have proven the fighting spirit of the Spanish fleet. Um, of course, we still had ships fighting, we still had ships sailing, um, but those were the two biggest damage dealers of that battle. Um, amazing work by those ships and uh, yeah great job um, so yeah and considering the tonnage advantage you know we uh, we came out of that one somehow I imagine that's going to really hurt the Americans. They might even be looking to sue for peace soon because 
that's a lot of tonnage to be going to the bottom of the... Yes! Government desperately asks to sign a peace treaty. Should we accept? Well, yes, we are, because we are struggling. Although, no, we're going to agree to this. Because, yeah, we lost an enormous amount of ships in that battle. Columbia would like to order a battleship. Yes, more than welcome. I uh, can't trade, apparently. But because we've got too many ships in the shipyard at the moment. I think we've got too many ships being built at the moment. We're struggling a little bit. Uh, but we will... Up our port capacity, our ship building capacity. Let's head on to July 1892. The Spanish Armada has proven victorious over the American fleet. Oh, America has decided to continue the war. Okay, the Illinois against Purification and Sam Ambrosia. I wonder if these are already damaged. Okay, let's get this battle underway. See how damaged our ships are. Yeah, they're pretty damaged. Uh, San Ambrosia needs to go to the port to get some repairs done because she's a little bit buggered. Uh, same with purification. Okay, if that battleship's charging us, we've only got one chance here. Purification has to absolutely go in and nail those torpedo strikes. San Ambrose, yeah, needs to run for it. Run, run, run. is going to be a rough one. We can take down the Illinois though, that's a lot, that's another battleship that they've lost, so. One torpedo out. Good hit. She's sinking fast. She's sinking fast. We might do this. She's going down. <laughs> Good job. America must be needing to sign a peace treaty soon. They are... That's another battleship they've lost. We've got a huge amount of victory points over them. Um, okay. Proof relations of France. To reduce our budget a little bit. Well, a little bit for now. Okay, what's going on in America at the moment with their. 
highly concerned. Minus 66 in age of prestige as well. So, highly disrespected. Okay. Alright, hopefully we can get some ships back to port. If we can catch some of those stragglers getting back to port, that would be great. Triple expansion engines, good news. Good to improve French relations. So this group's coming back to Washington. If we can catch that group sailing past, we will be pretty good. Um, America's Navy, let's look. They've only got two battleships left. I've actually got, yeah, they're struggling. Okay, let's see what happens next turn. Okay, so we've managed to catch this fleet on our return. We know most of their heavy cruisers weren't damaged, but we might have a chance here. Let's see what we can do. And one of their ships has already sank. So that's even better news for us. So yeah, they're coming back very damaged. Okay, so we've got two torpedo light ships there so I want you guys heading around a little bit please these guys are badly wounded so we've got a good chance of really damaging this fleet right now just can't get too cocky Remember, these armoured cruisers aren't damaged yet, so they are still a big risk to us. Torpedo out. If we can get a good hit on the Baltimore. Could sink her relatively quickly. That's one down. Nice work, Blanca. Did not want you to join them. Please detach. Up that torpedo, please. Oh, that's free. That's going to be it. Oh, that was lucky. I don't think we're going to get lucky twice, though. 
we did get lucky twice. Okay, I need you to detach and I need you to start retreating, please. Santa Maria de la Rosa is going down, that's unfortunate. Okay. Got a chance here against these guys. I need you to detach, please. And I need you to get in there. Torpedo strikes, we are golden. Peninsula going up. Our light cruiser's not doing so well here. Santa Lucia is going down. Torpedoes there, that was unfortunate. But we might be able to take down the bridge port. We're gonna lose the constant here though. Good good bridge port's going down. See ya. But if you can just get the hell out of dodge. See if we can take the Saratoga down. Charlotte is down. That's great work, guys. Great work. The Blanca can take the Saratoga down. Then we are golden. But both these ships are running low on fuel. Saratoga is getting greedy, it's trying to get the Constance here. Belanca, you've got an opportunity here. Got a very good opportunity here. job. Beautiful job, Blanca. It's dud, but that's okay. That's all we needed. I 
just a light cruiser left now. To the where was it? Northwest of us. But that's okay. That's still a victory. We will again. We lost a costly victory, but it was a victory nonetheless. Okay, so still got a light cruiser, but that's all that got home. That worked out very well for us again. Um, surely the Americans will be wanting to get a peace treaty signed. They must be struggling. Okay. So we've got some ships almost finished. Yeah, our victory points are huge. So let's just give this a quick save, for safety's sake. And let's head to October. Agree to the peace treaty. Yes. Okay. So hopefully they should sign a peace treaty for November. Yay! Okay, so... Whew, that was a... Well, it says a minor victory, but... That was an ass-whooping. So, what do we want? Panama, please. Uh, the Aleutian Islands. Where are they? This is the only trouble, is you can't look on the map. Islands. That's the ones between Alaska. So, don't think you want them. But Puerto Rico would be nice. Get back some of our area. But failing that, we'll get back a load of money. Um. And we could ask for a couple of their battleships. But honestly. They've not been that successful. But I still want a war prize from them. So I think the Georgia we will take. Well, Bainbridge is worth more. Um, yeah, I think that's fair. We'll ask for one of their battleships, Panama and Puerto Rico, and we'll also get $93 million. So let's uh, propose this. Okay, so they've decided to give us Panama and the Bainbridge. Wonderful news, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful news. So... We didn't get we didn't get Puerto Rico, unfortunately, but we did get Panama, and that's going to be so very useful to have that canal. 
Um, that's a great strategic victory for us. If America ever causes trouble again, well, they're going to have to sail the long way round, aren't they? So that is glorious for us. Okay. Um, may as well move some ships back to port because, yeah, they, they're going to need to get some repairs done. And what's Panama like ship wise? Ten. We may as well move some ships to Panama. That seems fair. Oh boy, that was a grand victory for us. So. Spain is looking very content at the moment. And they're very admired a lot as well. Uh, which is absolutely fair because, you know, who would not admire Spain? We are glorious. Um... What a great victory, uh, of course, for, for us. So, yes, Spain is looking good. The Armada is going to come along nicely, indeed. Um, of course, we made some money out of that war as well. As you can see, naval funds up. Uh, we do have to rebuild our fleet, so, so that's going to be a lot of work coming forwards. Um, we have got two battleships underway for build, but we do have the Bainbridge, um, which, uh, let's take a little look, see at our war prize. Which is not a, a magnificent battleship, you must say, but it will do, it will do. Um, pretty basic all in all um but as i said beggars can't be choosers maximum he that's why they were struggling um unfortunately can't refit uh war prizes so we can't refit this which is a shame um because it could be interesting to refit it but hopefully that will come in a later update um because yeah it would be nice to be able to refit these ships or, or learn their learn their blueprints so to say to use in future episodes as well but we've got our first battleship so that's good because um, we were missing battleships in our fleet and uh well it's a uh, it's a nice little nice little prize you've got to say um So she'll appear in our port very shortly, I believe. Oh no, she is. She's managed to get to Mataga. So we are looking good. Um, finances. We need our tech budget back up. Yeah, that will be fine for now. All right, let's head into December. So we've got a lot of ships under construction at the moment. Semi armor piercing shells, nice. Um, politics, what are we looking like? Britain needs to chill, dude. Like, let's see if we can make you feel better about us. Because if we go to war, I'm just going to take Gibraltar from you, you know? You don't want that, do you? Um, research going well, we've got new torpedo boats coming up soon, as well as hull strengthening coming up soon as well. Um, nickel steel armour let's up that and yeah let's just get the armour quality moving along because we want decent armour quality along the way got some cruisers back in our fleets uh, the government asked your opinion about submarines uh, you believe they're extremely limited to their operational useless, therefore there is no need to invest more in submarines. Um, the submarine is a promising weapon. Uh, enemy submarines could 
seriously threaten our merchant ships. No, we're not worried about submarines. At a press conference, journalists asked you a question about the foreign policies of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Uh, what was our... What was our little... Uh... retorts um, has an adventurous policy government is reasonable diplomatically redirect uh, we'll redirect that one so small gun barrels casements as well uh, we're looking good Okay, all right, my allergies are starting to really play up now, so I can't see a thing. Uh, so I reckon we're going to end it there, which I think is a fairly decent time to end the episode. We have won the war against America, which is, you know, nice. Um, we have finished up building a load of ships which is even nicer um, we've still got two battleships underway as well as the third being built for Columbia um, and uh, yeah we'll look at doing some modernization as well because that's going to be something that will have to be done relatively soon because uh, we've got some new technologies amongst us uh, we've got the new holes coming up shortly as well so yeah quite a bit to do in the future so thank you so much for watching and i will see you all again next time for some more ultimate april dreadnoughts bye bye